Hi kids, good morning. Today we are going to learn a new topic. Unit six, measurement and subtopic area. Hari ini kita akan belajar tajuk baru, iaitu unit enam, pengukuran subtajuk luas. So, our learning objective for today's lessons are Number 1, understanding area Number 2, getting to know measurement tools for area And number 3, getting to know measurement unit and symbol What is area? The size of a place or a surface is called area. What is a surface? Look at this book. The one with the red lines are called a surface. So, to measure the area of the book, we should measure the area of this surface. Area is measured using a measuring tool and expressed in a suitable unit. What measuring tools are used to measure area? Number 1, 1 cm times 1 cm paper square and number 2 is graph paper. Murid-murid, area ataupun luas diukur menggunakan alat pengukur tertentu dan dinyatakan dalam unit yang bersesuaian. Suitable units Apakah alat pengukur yang sesuai untuk mengukur luas? Yang pertama adalah kertas yang berukuran 1 cm darab 1 cm Yang kedua adalah kertas graf Ini adalah contoh kertas graf dan kertas 1 cm Darab 1 cm Let's look at this example What is suitable unit to measure book? The area of book can be expressed in square centimeter or written as CM2 Let's say the area of the book is 60 So we write down Area of the book is 60 square centimeter 60 square centimeter Second example, what is suitable unit to measure area of mat? This is the mat. The area of mat can be expressed in square meter or written as M2 or M square. Let's say the area of the mat is 100. So we write down the area of the mat is 100 square meter. Now let's move on to our next example.
what is suitable unit to measure the area of Sabah? Area of Sabah can be expressed in square kilometer or written as km2 or km square. Now, let's say the area of Sabah is 73,631. So, we write down area of Sabah is 73,631 square kilometer. Okay kids, now let's conclude what we have learned from the previous previous slides. Unit of area, unit for area. I'm sorry, unit for area. We can classify into three groups which is smaller size, medium size and bigger size. For smaller size Usually, we use square centimeter and the symbol is CM2. For medium size, usually we use square meter and the symbol is M2. And for the bigger size, the unit we use is square kilometer and the symbol is km2. Now we move on to your task for today. You have two tasks. This is the first task, task number one. You are going to do this task in science writing book. Buku penulisan warna kuning List four objects according to suitable units We have learned before from previous lesson There are three units to measure area which are square centimeter, square meter, and square kilometer. I want you to list down four objects that suitable with this unit. For example, square meter, square centimeter, the object suitable is book for square meter the object suitable that we learned before is mat and for square kilometer the object we learned before is the area of Sabah so make sure you have all four answer in this blank box Use your creativity to create the boxes or the table. Now it's your second task, task number two, which you have to do it in your science activity book, answer page 53 and 54. Okay, this is your task 2, so I want you to complete the task and uh, snap a picture of your uh, task with answer and complete with answer and send it to me through uh, your WhatsApp. Thank you.